Hi Wanders! I flew out to Colorado to visit my good friend Katie. We hiked mountains, met new friends, visited Rocky Mountain National Park, and had an amazing time. Here are some highlights from my trip. Today we're at the York Street Denver Botanical Gardens. There's a Dale Chihuly exhibition going on. He's well known for Bone glass sculptures. Very beautiful. So let's go enjoy this urban oasis. Dale Chihuly is an American glass sculpture artist whose works have been seen around the world for decades. His work was installed all over the gardens, bringing even more beauty and color to the grounds. Our favorite was the small boat filled with glass of all shades of blue. There are over 40 different gardens to walk through, displaying thousands of plants, many native to Colorado and its unique altitude and geography. You'll also find collections of plants from around the U.S. and from around the world. It's a bamboo tunnel! After the Botanical Gardens, we drove north through the city of Estes Park, Colorado. While driving through town, we came across a herd of elk and just had to stop and watch. We followed them and found a large group grazing in the grass. Several other cars had pulled over and everyone was taking pictures and video. My favorite part was actually catching this bull's call on camera. It's not what I expected to hear. After that exciting encounter, we made our way to Rocky Mountain National Park. Despite the weather and not being able to see much, we made the most of it. to go hiking in the Rockies. We are in Mount Falcon. Uh, it's in Morrison. We are taking the Castle Trail. Yeah, we're gonna check out some castle ruins in the Rockies. Pretty cool, huh? The Walker Castle, built by John Brisbane Walker in the early 1900s for him and his family, was huge. It had several rooms, fireplaces, and of course, an amazing view. But it was struck by lightning in 1918, and this is all that is left of the massive home. We continued down the trail and took in the amazing views. In the distance, we could see where we were headed next. Red Rocks Amphitheater, known the world around for its unique outdoor acoustic quality making it a great place for concerts. Remember John Brisbane Walker? It was his dream to make the space into a concert venue. Here I am standing in the space itself. With room for 9,500 audience members, it's one cool place to rock out. Hi Wanderers. So far, I've gone up 200 steps just to get to the stage level. Now working on my way up to where the people actually sit. What a workout. You can see that a lot of people run and do exercises in here because it's free and it's definitely a workout. <laughs> Inside the Visitor Center is a Performers Hall of Fame, which lists all the artists who have performed at Red Rocks every year since 1908. It was fun looking through the names and finding my favorite musicians. While Katie and I enjoyed several restaurants during my visit, 
Sugar Mill was the most unique. This dessert lounge, located in the Five Points neighborhood in Denver, offers made-to-order sweets and pastries, plus savory dishes throughout the day. To satisfy your sweet tooth on the run, grab some macaroons, cupcakes, or truffles from their colorful bakery case. If you're dining in-house, make sure to order Chef Noah French's Noosphere, a decadent masterpiece of flavor and fun. Here he is preparing one for us. First he heats up a metal cone to create the hole in the chocolate sphere through which he will pour the various ingredients. To top it off, he drizzles hot caramel over it. Oh my gosh, you're fantastic. So inside are candy pecans, marshmallows, scoop free chiffon cake, uh, bananas on the outside, raspberries, and caramels. Oh, good gracious. Wow. Oh, thank so you. Thank you. It's unreal. So I'm enjoying their homemade marshmallow ice cream and a homemade fruit and fruit chocolate chip cookie. I hope you enjoyed some highlights from my trip out west, and as always, thanks for watching us wander. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. <laughs>